Toys R Us filed for bankruptcy in March 2018 and closed our stores nationwide by late June 2018. Everybody is wondering, what happened to all of the Toys R Us stores? Well, in Nebraska, they all turned into alcohol stores. Boom! When this was a Toys R Us, we would sometimes go to get Monopoly or a Carrier's George puzzle. Yeah, this was our childhood Toys R Us. No. This guy was like 23, but. Then Toys R Us went on a business, and we were wondering, what is this going to become? And years later, it's 2022, and it's now one of the biggest alcohol stores in Nebraska. In the world, maybe. Full ass Walmart side store that's just all liquor. They recycled the entrance sign. Like they are, they're reduced reusing and recycling. And this store made me think like, maybe in a couple of years, I'll try to be environmentally friendly. Maybe I'll reuse things. Not any time though. And Toys R Us's, I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but Toys R Us's like mascot was a giraffe and there's a giraffe in the corner drinking some spirit. I never understood why alcohol is called a spirit. Maybe I might, do you know why? Again, I just love how they're just poking a little bit of fun being like this used to be a Toys R Us Like there's the little inside jokes. I like <laughs> hey! I will answer the question a lot of you guys are thinking When you walk in you do get a Toys R Us energy. You're kind of being boozled because you're like Wait, why am I thinking about Baby is Alive? But then it's like, oh, I'm thinking about Baby Alive because we're in a previous Toys R Us And you used to frequent that Toys R Us as a child no, I think in my spirituality, I think it's because the the um, toys vibes, toy vibes, souls. I was still in the store. Oh, the aura never leaves because yeah. they never saged the place, which I enjoy because it's kind of funny how it has a Toys R Us energy. The second you step into this alcohol extravaganza, it feels like you've entered a scary maze. It has IKEA vibes. You know you're gonna enjoy the experience, but you don't know if by the time you leave, if it'll be four hours later. You've officially entered the alcohol. Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Just to include the one that's pronounced right. Yeah. I saw that there was a bar. That adds a whole new layer. A little Ooh. bar in there. And we visited today at probably 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Do you see the little people on a date? Two people in their 40s, male, female, heterosexual. Maybe one of them was by. They were on a little date in there, and it's just like, that would be a cute date spot. They have samples. A little lady. And <laughs> a little lady. <laughs> she had a sample station. We didn't take the sample, though. Why didn't we take advantage? It was like 2 o'clock, and I know it's only 4 o'clock right now, but I just felt like... I just didn't want it. It was some sort of red thing, and I was like, I'm good. They really had it organized, which I liked. Like, when you see how big the store is, you do get a little bit stressed, but they make it very easy with the organization. Yes. Fun fact, they even had a clearance section. You just don't think about alcohol going on clearance, but I just thought that was funny, like a clearance section. Like, cause doesn't wine get better with age? So really like, if it's a clearance, like you think it'd be like, that'd be the expensive one, but whatever. Yeah, so you're actually getting a deal by shopping in the clearance section. And we actually picked up the cheapest wine we could find. This was $5. It's Lindman's. $5.99. We are both the legal age of drinking. So this is a legal activity. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's good. It tastes a little bit <laughs> like dog spit. It's fine. I'll continue drinking it nonetheless. I love the design on the front. That's why I picked it out. I saw this and then I was like, Wait, it's also the cheapest wine. <laughs> if you're a really per if you're a really big wine person, comment below. So my theory is that once you get to about $25, that's as good as wine gets. So why do people spend like $100 on a wine bottle? And even people are spending like so much more than $100, but I I guarantee once you get to $25, that's the that's the peak. I had to take a pee and I was hysterical. He was cracking the F up. They cut the signs for the Toys R Us bathroom at the store. Boys and girls and it shows a little picture. It was very cute and it reminded me of like the 80s or something. This video is kind of all over the place, but now we're entering a taste test moment. I was on the Twiddle page because at this point, I'm literally a stan of this store. And I saw that they had peanut butter and jelly bear. They didn't have that, but they did have peanut butter. Pulsing at the checkout say it's like a dark. scotch. He said it's 
What was it? Is that a scotch? It was a certain type of beer. Oh, a milk stout. A stout is what he said. He said he doesn't like stout beers because they're very dark, which I know for a fact I'm gonna hate this. I only like light beer. This is a dark, like, ugh. But I'm excited to try it. Rich milk chocolate teams up with peanut buttery perfection in this beer. It has very minimal ingredients, just rocky mountain water, so mountain from the Rockies, malted barley, lactose, rolled oats, peanuts, hops, peanut butter, and yeast. I'm excited to try this. Um, I Like I said, I thought I was a light beer girl, but I'm down to be swayed. <gasps> it smells more like a peanut butter cup than it tastes like peanut butter cup. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I smell the chocolate, but... It smells so much like a peanut butter cup. I'm not even kidding. I think this is how I used to think light beer tasted. <laughs> like, you know the first time you ever drink beer, it tastes like shit? Yeah. Like, this is what I used to think beer tasted like. This is better than a normal beer because it does have a little bit of a peanut butter cup taste, which I mean, does is cool. Oh yeah, I hate it. It's way too beery. I just, I like the little baby back bitch beers. The thing is, it tastes just like coffee. The guy at the cash register told us that stout beers taste like coffee. That's what this tastes like. Oh yeah, I feel like it's more of a thing where I would drink one of these, but I would just have one. They kind of knew that when they made a peanut butter beer. You know what I mean? They were expecting, oh, I'm gonna down seven of these. It's like it's just something, a, joke. a little fun thing to drink with your family around Thanksgiving, you know? I keep sipping on it because I wanna actually realize for myself if I like it. Because I actually am in like a, I just don't know what I fully think yet. This alcohol store also had moonshine. I'm just confused because I've seen this moonshine before. I've seen it at like other stores. It's not only for at this store, but I remember hearing that like moonshine makes people blind and shit. Isn't that what people drank in like the old ass fucking days? Was it a thing like you could make it homemade and like maybe I'm kind of pulling this out of my ass, but it's probably true. During Prohibition, people could make this in their house. And oh, still yeah. Drink. But this, I think they just took the name Moonshine, and there's no way it's actual Moonshine, right? Because that would, like you said, like, people, they don't want people to go blind. Yeah, we didn't get this because right now I'm not in the mood to, like, be uh, upside down and a twisty. I took a picture of all these bills that they had because I have to say these IPAs, I think they're called, the branding is excellent. And we were talking about what does this branding remind you of? And let me know if you think the same. The branding reminds me of a 90s slash two, early 2000s video game. I was trying to think of what it reminded me of because I also had like a vivid, this, like, this brings like a very specific like nostalgia factor or something. Reminds me so much of an arcade game. All, this, all these IPA branding. Yeah. This, this is an IPA, but we got these Don Chilado. Oh yeah, they had a bunch of flavors. And what this is, it's like a little seasoned cup or something. And then you pour beer in it. We just Googled it and chiladas are apparently a classic Mexican beverage. So I'm excited to try these. But from what I know about like Mexican candy, isn't it usually like very like salty and like, I don't know, like- I, I think this might be spice. This, there's this stuff around the rim and I'm just assuming it's spicy. I'm excited to try it. Okay, so, oh, so it's this little thing. So Ooh, we, what do we do? We pour this in? Pour it in, yeah. I have the original. And I don't even know what mine smells like, to be honest. What did you got? Mango lime? Mango chili. So I think mine might be a little bit spicy. I'm filling mine with a classic Bud Light. This store did have singles. And then I got, I just got this Grandenburg. I wanted a Bud Light, but I'm, this will do. Is this 24 ounces though? Uh, who cares? Oh, that's what it's supposed to be? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, the the um stuff went up my nose, the combination. What the? It actually kinda tastes good, like it's a little bit salty. Can I taste yours? Cause mine tastes actually like main like you can taste the mango. Mine's not spicy. Spicy at all. Mine's way better than yours. Oh, yeah, yours is way better. Yours is um really salty. I know mine. I just want a Bloody Mary taste like. I don't know if I like yours, but mine is. Yeah, I would. Mine better. is pretty good. Cheers. Chalada night. Unts, 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 unts. Of course, there was one of the most iconic spots in every alcohol store. The freezer section. When you walk through those gates. By I gates, know. I just mean the, like, those plastic things. It just is like, I made it. And it was- Little VIP section. Yeah, and it was 100 degrees out, so it was like, finally. I know, yes. <laughs> I think they shut the door on us. Are you kidding? Yeah, we're locked in here. Oh no. Just joking, it's still open. Oh, thank God. 
I know, I, I would have been really scared. While we were in there, we saw this cool ass drink. Both of us have never had. It's called a Bangalane Tropical IPA. It's by King Crater. And just gotta shout out, they're actually from Broken Bone, Nebraska. Shout out, Nebraska. We didn't even know this was from Nebraska. We were just, we were grabbed by the packaging for some reason. I legit thought this was like, um, like a like a nationwide brand. I don't, I don't know, know. Maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it is either. So like, we should. What fruits in it though? Does it say? It says bursting with tropical flavors of passion fruit, melon, ripe mangoes, and sun-kissed berries. I have a feeling I might have to like be a fan of this. Wait, is this an IPA? Yeah, it says IPA. So what, what does that mean? Stout is the coffee <laughs> kind. What the fuck is the IPA? We gotta learn it I all. I literally have no idea. A type of light colored beer similar to bitter, typically with a higher with a higher than average alcohol and hop content. Light colored beer though, does that mean it's like light beer? I don't know. I don't know. Let's Cheers. Smash. <laughs> oh my God, this tastes just like that. One that you brought home that one time. That means nothing to anyone, but. Oh yeah, it was this one apricot bill and it kind of does uh, taste like that. Oh, this is what an IPA is then. Now I know what an IPA tastes like. You know what I mean? It has like this one certain, like a citrus flavor or something in the background. They do, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a grapefruit flavor. You know like that weird like bitter flavor that IPAs have? Grapefruits in the background for sure. bang a bang -a honey. Bitch. I get why they call it bang rang. I'm getting banged around. I know, I'm just like, whoa. I might get this again. We'll see. Just want to include this here for a little second for the Lana Del Rey stands. If you're a true Lana stan, you know why I'm showing this. And if you're just a kind of subtle Lana Del Rey stan, I'll say the lyric for you. Pabst Blue Ribbon on Ice. There was a section of the store that was just for sake and both of us have never had it. I've never had sake. Like from looking at it, I picture it's a type of beverage where you do shots. Carbonated sake. No, this is why I'm confused because this looks like a bottle you would have for yourself. Now it says the alcohol percentage is 7%. Which is which like nothing. Doesn't sound that bad. So. Can, like, how much sake is, like, are you supposed to have? So I know what, yeah, like- Yeah, because when people get it at restaurants, they have multiple shots. I'm probably just gonna take a sip, but still, I wanna try it. Oh, it smells like hard alcohol. That's what grosses me out. Oh. That's a lot! Wait, that is? Yeah, okay, I'll just drink the whole thing. Wait, no. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, I don't think that's a lot. Drink the whole thing! I'm actually scared now. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. Can you, like, <laughs> count me down for the vibe? Five, four, three, two, one. Is it like a shot? Ew, it's like an actual shot. No, it's not as bad as it, um, as like a vodka. Okay, I'm gonna make it equal. It's actually not right. that bad. That's what it's you not are, right? bad. Okay. I am a little bit tipsy though. It's not oh. that bad. It tastes a little bit like soda, a little bit. Now I totally understand when people go to a restaurant and they get like a little thing of sake and they can keep refilling it. Cause like this isn't like a vodka or tequila shot. I kind of got like a lemon lime taste. I know, this is good. And I like how you're supposed to take it in shot form. It just makes it more fun, you know? I know, for sure. Okay, I might be a sake person now. When I first tasted it, I will admit, I was like, is this like a vodka vibe? But then I got to my senses and I was like, it's not that bad. The, what did it say? It said sweet and refreshingly light. I'm not kidding, that's exactly how it felt. And I also love how this one was carbonated. I don't think it's usually carbonated, but Oh, this... so we didn't even try like actual sake? We still tried it all. When we first walked into the store, one of the first sections was like, I don't know if they labeled it this, but like a Bloody Mary section. Neither of us have ever had a Bloody Mary and I've always wanted to try one. So we got the iconic, I'm just gonna say it's iconic, Miss Mary's original premium Bloody Mary. I don't just... Honestly, take a good look at. Uh, yeah, you can't see her, it's not in focus, but she is hot. It's like, if anyone's gonna make me a Bloody Mary, it better be Miss Mary. Whenever I picture a Bloody Mary, I picture someone drinking it when they're hungover. It's just kind of like a vibe. I just have this memory born into my brain. I was flying somewhere when I was like 10. 
without family, of course. It sounded like I was like by myself. <laughs> um, and someone ordered a bloody Mary, and I just remember that. That's all I remember. Oh my god, I've heard that like they fill you up, and I heard they can give you add, diarrhea. Like, food into it, like yeah, salads and celery. What did I see? Just insert the photo right now of a. I think it's a rotisserie chicken Bloody Mary. It's a whole rotisserie chicken on a Bloody Mary. Dude, there's clam in here. This shit actually grosses me out, but I'm just gonna try it. But the thing is, I love salty stuff. So if this is like French fry the drink, maybe it will be my new thing. We didn't know how to make Bloody Mary, so I just literally Googled it and apparently you just mix it with vodka. Yeah, we already bought that. We bought all the mix together. Don't have to make it homemade. Too much, yeah, too much. But like, I do feel like, I feel like this is a thing you get at brunch and you order one. Maybe just like that. Yeah, I mean, like, like we're supposed to have ice and having shit. Having too much is gross. So why is it called Bloody Mary? Bloody Mary is like the scary lady that appears in the mail at night. Oh, I didn't. I that's true. I don't know. That's equal. And it's so gross putting your finger in it. It's warm. <laughs> I'm not kidding. When I look at my finger. <laughs> well, I but I'm a ketchup person. We're totally opposite right now because I'm in the vibe of like. I don't feel sick right now, but this grosses me out for some reason. I'm so just like much. the grossest ketchup person, though. I think what I told is when he said those clams in the mix. <laughs> it said clam flavor. Artificial <laughs> clam. Oh, I'm a, I'm a ketchup. This might come out of a ketchup drink. It smells like ramen noodles. Oh my god, it tastes good to me. <laughs> Wait, you hate it? I can't have any more, I'm sorry. Like, I get from the perspective you're seeing it from, but like, just picture like hot dogs and stuff. Can't really taste the vodka though. I know, I just said this a hot dog drink. <laughs> this is literally a hot dog fried, like, onion ring girl drink. I'm not gonna say I don't like it because maybe I'm just in a ghost out my mood. Like, Lucas just taste Kansas another drink. Oreo. I feel like you need to get one more chance. I actually almost threw up. Did you see that? Wait, are you for real? I actually almost did, so like, I don't think I should have another. But don't you like ketchup? I do, but but you kept saying like I'm a ketchup person. Like, I think there's everything that is gross to me. It's like, so funny. I'm a ketchup I'm person. I think in this video I've said I'm like this person or this type of girly like so many times. Like, just trying to define myself. I actually am not going to. It reminds the reason why I'm not drinking it is because it reminds me so much of ramen noodles. I'm honestly so thankful for this though because now I know like next time I'm like me and all inclusive. Vacation and like the next morning I get a Bloody Mary. I feel like that's the only time I would drink a Bloody Mary. I know like you have some like food with it. We were done getting stuff at this point because we were like, we already got too much alcohol for the two of us. Lucas actually mentioned this old Leo when we were there. We saw, we, get, we saw like a Mexican mudslide. Chocolate alcohol it looks like. I, don't I just remember understand. one time I was at Applebee's. Applebee's. And I saw someone get a mudslide, and this is nothing compared to the mudslide at Applebee's. It had ice cream, like chocolate syrup, and I remember thinking, like, didn't you say you ordered this? Oh no, because I was at 21. But I remember someone else ordered it. I remember, I remember I thought in my mind, when I'm 21, I'm always gonna get those types of drinks. No, but didn't you say you ordered a milkshake with alcohol? You were under. Oh, 21. I had before at the Roosevelt Hotel. <laughs> Coffee? Mm, it tastes like Bailey's. I don't like, it gives me like, it gives me medicine vibes. I was just thinking that, it reminds me so much of a NyQuil. It's not bad, it does taste a little bit like chocolate milk, but there's this thickness to the alcohol in it that yeah, reminds me- Syrupy. Sy syrupy, syrupy, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, I mean, I'd have a sip though, but I wouldn't drink the whole thing. Whenever I think of Bailey's or like someone putting alcohol in coffee, I always picture the middle of the winter, it's so snowy out and it's like around the holidays. That's what I always picture too. The last thing we got, because I might have had it before, but I forgot. Jim Bean Whiskey. Lucas hasn't watched the whole season of Euphoria, but I was telling him, what's that one drink these these dads drink when they're like dressed in these movies. And but I was straight. yeah, I was directly referring to the scene of Euphoria where the 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 bisexual gay dad comes home and drinks some type of dark alcohol. We got it, and I'm I, gonna, I'm gonna act like the bisexual dad. <laughs> I have heard that brown liquor like can bring out like the worst of people are like the most chaotic side. I'm just gonna have a sip. Oh yeah, no, I'm actually not gonna have any just because like maybe at some point in my life I'll be able to drink whiskey again, but from the experiences I've had when I drink whiskey, I just don't want to drink it. Will I be sick if I drink the full shot? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> The brown liquor has hit. That's strong. I always had the assumption that this had less alcohol flavor than vodka. You just make me like possessed or something. 
I always thought this had the same amount of like, this had less of an alcohol taste than like vodka, but to me it tastes horrible. Because people sip on this. Oh yeah, it tastes, it, it, it doesn't taste good. After we bought all this alcohol, we left the store. Well done, that was a good experience. As you notice, they have the exit only sign, just like Toys R Us. And just gotta point out again, go them for reduce, reusing, and recycling. Clap. If you are home, clap too. This was a fun trip to the Nebraska's biggest alcohol store. Oh, I gotta try so much. I never had a chalada, I've never had a Bloody Mary, I've never had a, there's something, oh, sake. Like, I feel like I gotta expand my horizons. Same with me. Okay, um, bye. See ya.